acknowledge him. Acknowledge means to recognize. If you recognize that the earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof, the world and they that dwell therein, if you recognize that, then you ought to ask God to direct your path. Before you leave the house every day, y'all say, God, direct my path. You don't know what accident is down the road waiting on you. Psalm say, in all thy ways, acknowledge him. And what? Who will? Did he say he's an angel to do it? Did he say he's a preacher to do it? Did he say he's a prophet to do it? No, God said, he will. He'll direct your path. He'll move some obstacles out of your way. He'll smooth the rough road you get ready to travel on. He'll straighten out the crooked places in your life. He told Cyrus, I'll go before you and knock the gates down. He'll have the door open before you even get there. The door will already be open. If you acknowledge him in all your ways. He will. Anybody know he will? Now the son said, won't he will? That might not be correct English. But I know, won't he will? <laughs> when you let him direct your path, he'll lead you beside some still waters. When you let him direct your path, He'll make you lie down in green pastures. When you let him direct your path, he knows where the trouble is. Tomorrow, the next day, and the next day too. But if you let him direct your path, he'll take you around the trouble. If he won't take you around the trouble, he'll move the trouble out of your way. And if you decide not to move the trouble out of your way, he'll move you through the trouble. Won't he will? Yes, he will. Trust in the Lord. Have a bold confidence that in spite of the hardships, in spite of the situation, I know that I know that God's going to work it out for my good. When you don't understand what's going on, Trust in the Lord when you can't see your way. Trust in the Lord. If you find yourself in the midst of sorrow, trust in the Lord. When trouble comes your way, trust in the Lord. Somebody said, well, Reverend, I've been waiting for a long time. But just in case, God hadn't sent your miracle yet. Keep on trusting in the Lord. Just in case God hasn't supplied your need yet. Keep on trusting in the Lord. Just in case God hasn't healed your body yet. Keep on trusting in the Lord. Just in case God hasn't solved your problem yet, don't stop trusting in the Lord. Just in case God hasn't saved your loved one yet, keep on trusting in the Lord. When the road gets rough, trust in the Lord. When the mountains get high, Trust in the Lord. When nights get dark, trust in the Lord. When burdens get heavy, trust in the Lord. When circumstances seem impossible, trust in the Lord. I don't care what the doctor say. Trust in the Lord. You might lose your job, but don't stop trusting in the Lord. You might have to cry sometime, but keep on trusting in the Lord. He's able to do what he will. He's wise enough to do what's best. He's good enough to bless you. Noah trusted in the Lord and he helped him build an ark. Abraham 
trusted in the Lord, and he sent a ram in the bush. Rahab trusted in the Lord, and God saved the whole house. Daniel trusted in the Lord, and God brought him out the lion's den. The Hebrew boys trusted in the Lord. And God brought him out the fiery furnace. Elijah trusted in the Lord. And God sent down fire from on high. Moses trusted in the Lord. And God made a way out of no way. I don't know about you, but for me in my house, we gonna trust in the Lord. I got a bold, a bold confidence that that's Jesus who hung out on the cross. Jesus, the one that pierced in the side. Jesus, who died that Friday called good. Jesus, when he shed his blood. I got a bold confidence that all my sins been washed in the blood. Now I got a bold confidence that one of these old days, when this life is over, I can't preach no more. I got a bold confidence that somewhere waiting for me, there's a mansion that's got my name. I got a bold confidence that one of these old days, I'm going to take the wings of the morning. I'm going to fly away and be at rest. I got a bold confidence that when I confess with my mouth and believe with my heart, I was saved. I am saved. I will be saved. I got a bold Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not on your own understanding. Acknowledge Him in all thy ways. And He will, He will, He will, won't He will? So that's all I came to remind us of today. Trust in the Lord. If you don't remember all that other stuff I say, remember those four words. Trust in the Lord. Don't care how the circumstances look. Don't care what the naysayers say. Don't care what your critics say. Don't care what your friends tell you you can't do. Trust. Trust in the Lord. Keep on trusting in the Lord. I don't care how bad the situation look. I remember Sister Taylor, somebody told her, if I was you, I wouldn't have that surgery at your age. She had the surgery, trusting in the Lord. The next day, she was up out the bed walking. And now y'all see it here at Morning View. Trust in the Lord. Trust in the Lord. Have a bold confidence. Folk would say you're foolish. Have a foolish kind of confidence. I got a bold confidence that God is working things out for my good. It might not feel like it right now. I'm so glad God don't work on feelings. Don't care how it feels, don't care how it looks. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. And don't worry about your limited understanding. You can't understand no way. If you could understand, you'd be God. All right. That's why Adam and Eve made their mistake. Did the serpent tell them, once you eat this fruit, you're going to be as gods? So some stuff you ain't supposed to understand. That's what faith is all about when you don't understand. See, you don't have to trust if you already know how to work it out. If you can work it out, then you ain't got nothing to trust for. When you can't work it out, God can. Oh, yeah. Doors of the church are open. 
just in case.